so I made another Haminations ramp like two years ago when he had like uh, 544,000 subscribers. Well, I'm making another one. Here's a clip of an old video. It's gonna be amazing. Like, um, um, I'm gonna do a dance on a uh, ham. Well, that video was actually really fucking awkward, so I make another one, and also because I'm probably gonna get more views on this one, because there's a lot more subscribers, and this will get more attention. I also wanna see if he's improved and all that, I'm just gonna get him the ramp and dig right in. Now let's get to the ramp. Now, his stories are likely fake, and he still has a cringe humor. I'll get into the fake stories later, but as his content changed, not much. It's still roughly the same. He has the same sense of humor, except in every video, he kills somebody who disagrees with him. And he has dead memes in his videos, and he has, like, Free running gags. I'll demonstrate, like the last video, which was made two years ago. But Wait. Now, anyways, I think you get the concept already. The killing joke is stupid and annoying. And those other factors too, like the fact that all of his jokes are repetitive and dumb, but I've said that already, and I think you already get it. A stick figure says something he disagrees with, and he kills him. Now let's go to the next point. The uh cautious. One time I was taking him on a walk in the snow when all of a sudden we turned a corner and saw a dog. Bo bolted and I immediately slipped on ice, falling right on my butt and dropping Bo's leash in the process. Now, anyways, I think you get the idea of that clip. He was faking it and he lives in Florida, not in Antarctica. So that couldn't have happened because I haven't snowed there in forever. Now, Anyways, I think he just faked a lot of his stories, but I will show more. But, let's just say, the entire Pyromaniac video is probably fake. So, if you want to see that, just watch it yourself. You're gonna go Brody put his knowledge to use immediately. He locked himself in Grandma's room, hid under the bed, and started melting the wax under there. The bottom of the bed began to burn, and the when they finally got in, they saw Brody with a lighter in hand, standing next to a burning bed. They put the fire out quickly as Brody watched. How Even the hell does he know that he melted the wax? And how does he know that he did all this? This is probably fake as well. Anyways, let's get down to the next point, which will be more about the videos themselves. Well, his content has kind of, kind of improved. It's still not good. His jokes are just as bad as they were back then. But they're not as bad as they used to be, I guess. The animation has gotten better, but again, like 14 people make his video, if you said. So, I wouldn't say that. Stories are still kinda either boring, or they're absolutely made up. There's no in-between with his content. And, the stick figure thing, he's like a rip-off of another YouTube channel. But, you could get to that later, like, everything. Now anyways, another thing I don't like about this YouTube channel is his personality. He tries to act all quirky to appeal to 13-year-old girls and 11-year-old boys. He tries to be so quirky and relatable, but fails. And his jokes are terrible, just like I expressed 
is kind of random equals funny mixed with dead memes. It's like bad. Another problem I have with his YouTube channel is his garbage personality. He tries to act quirky, which I understand that it appeals to like 13 year old girls, but still, it's dumb to act like that. It's annoying, it's unrelatable, at least to me, and it's just stupid. His fan base is gonna be mad, I know, but I don't care. You can dislike all you want, but we should get to the next point anyway. But the answer is, if it's con if it has this content in Now anyways, this is probably the most controversial thing I'll ever say on this channel. The first point is, he's a plagiarizer. He always has been. He's always kind of ripped off Jaden and that other kid. He kind of ripped off both of them. And that stick figure thing that disagrees, every channel in his category has that. And about the weird relationship, he's... He's been talking to Brody since he was like 11, and he was still like 16 when he was first talking to him. And now Brody's like 15, and he's like 21. That's a weird relationship, to say the least, because he's like 6 years older than him. That's kind of giving me EDP vibes. I ain't saying he's a pedo, but kind of weird. Now, let's get to, uh... The conclusion, since this video is getting long enough as it is. Now, anyway, this is the uh, conclusion. The conclusion is that Terminations is just an annoying person who thinks he's quirky, he's childish, he's annoying, he's kind of a nerd. And I just don't really like him. He's also kind of weird with some kid who's a lot younger than him, and he is just not a good channel. He, he never was good. He's gotten slightly better, but he still traps, makes fake stories, plagiarizes, don't like this YouTuber. I am going to log out and hope you have a good day. Goodbye. Make sure to subscribe, by the way, because I'm going to be making another video on Moon, the most evil YouTuber to ever exist, and I might be updating y'all on EDP 445. Let's get to the end.